All right, Bishop teachers, this is my favorite math pack of all. I have used this in my own classroom. This is the multiplication or division backpack. And um, one of the things I love about this is the materials themselves when you're working with them. So what I would like to show you first is our set of cubes. And these are not just ordinary cubes. These are already designed in groups. So this, in this block, it tells you exactly what's in the case and how many of each cube you have. So when you tell the kids it's time to put them away, they can check that really quickly. When you're looking at this, these are fives. So when you're talking about multiples, there's two sets of five, and there's three sets of five, and there's four sets of five, and you can make your rectangle, and you can talk about a five by four or a four by five, and you can talk about square numbers in a five by five because what you've created here is a square. You can do the same when you're working with twos. Here's a two by two and you've created your square number. In the everyday math program, squares are huge. These also you can talk about, these are eights, so you can get three eights, how many are in three eights. You can skip count with the kids and pull them apart, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, eight, 16, 24, two, four, so you can work with um, counting in multiples. You can work with um, you can work with adding or subtracting, and you could have five plus two, or you could have eight plus two, which number is more. You can do comparison things with these as well. So this is a wonderful, um, wonderful set of cubes that you can use that are already preset into sets, and they go all the way up to tens. Also, if you're working with 10 times 10 and you want to get into the hundreds, you have some hundreds pack here as well. You can do, make 11 by 11s and fill in the squares, and then you'll have 121. So these are the multiplication squares and, and, um, and blocks that come with the program. Along with those come the multiplication flashcards. So when you take a look at these, these are four times zero, which tells you you're gonna have four zeros or zero fours. Um, here's four times one. So these are done in kind of those color blocks. It tells you you can have a one by four or a four by one. This is four times two. So you've either got a two by four or a four. There are twos are orange, so two, four, six, eight. And the fours are yellow, so you have two of those yellow bars. If you want, you can pull these out and you can build them. Or you can go ahead and go, what would four twos be? You can figure that out. The answers are not on the back of the cards. So when you're using these, you'll have to have a pair sitting down with them, or you'll have to have a pretty motivated child. Or if you want, you can have the kids do these and write them down on a notebook piece of paper and hand it in to you as well. So they're in sets, so fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. Each number has their own um, flashcard set, and it matches the cubes, and it starts with multiplying three, and it goes up to multiplying with nine. Um, then in here we have some games that kids can play. This will be another one that would be really easy for you to tell your para, go and check out the multiplication division backpack and do some of the games in there. They're pretty self-explanatory. They're listed right here. There's about six games on here, and kids can go ahead and they can roll different dice, multiply those numbers together. There is also a spinner in here that just has numbers one through five, so you can control how difficult you would like this to be. So those are in the multiplication backpack there. This also comes with some timers, so if you want to take your flashcards and beat the timer, each one of these is a different time. So you can start with 10 minutes and see if you can get through a set of flashcards in that, and eight minutes, and five minutes, and three minutes. So you can see, and the kids can kind of challenge themselves, can you beat the timer as you go through your flashcards? So that kind of tells you right here what times you can use. It goes down to one minute. Also in here, there is a set of matching templates, the product templates, and they count by the different numbers that you're taking a look at. So counting by sevens, counting by eights, and counting by nines. Those are the products of multiplying. If you had a student who was just learning, you could actually take one of these sets and you could say, we're gonna work on multiplying with nines. So I'm gonna take one of my nine sticks and one set of nine, 
is 9. There's the answer 9. Two sets of 9, that would be 18. And the 18th right here. Three sets of 9 would be 27. So this is kind of a quick way for kids to kind of find those answers as they're just being introduced to those. There's also a whiteboard that we put in here along with an eraser. You'll need to have your own Expo marker, but then as the, your para or you wanted to work with a small group, you could ask them multiplication questions and just like their own whiteboard, they could have this. We put this in here because this pack will probably be one that goes home with parents too. So teachers can check this out. Students can check this out and take it home and work on and practice with it at home. And uh, you can use it with your para, small group. This is probably one of those packets I wouldn't set at the back table and say just explore. This is probably one of those packets I would say needs some teacher guidance or parent guidance. Thanks so much.